women and children of Iran are at risk from the threat of unprovoked attack by the government of the United States and its continuing policy of invasions and war crimes. If this dangerously compromised Congress continues to support the Bush administration's plan to bomb Iran, a country that has not attacked another in over 250 years, the blood on the hands of our nation will never wash out. Uh, Ahmed and I are here just to uh, just say a few words about Iran. Um, I was lucky enough to uh, become uh, connected to Iran 40 years ago when I met Ahmed, and I have been privileged to be able to go to Iran frequently and visit our family, and these are pictures that you see of various members of the 150 members of our family who live in and around Tehran. And um, the reason that we have these pictures is that uh, we understand that a lot of Americans uh, really do not understand uh, people of, an of another country. They, they, I don't think that people were able to make a connection between ourselves here and the people of Iraq. Um, they hear about threats to a country, but they don't really understand threats to individual people who are just like us. And so what we're hoping to do is to be able to put a human face on the people who live in another country, which happens to be Iran. Um, 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 the Bush administration has attempted to dehumanize human beings and, and in making these threats to, uh, to uh, have Americans feel that, that they are at risk from the other. And when you look at these pictures, uh, you understand that these people and the peoples of the world are not the other. These people are us. These people um, have the same lives. When I say these people, I mean the peoples of the world, not just uh, the people of Iran, not just my family. People go about their daily business, they take their kids to school, they cook meals, they go shopping. And, um, and so we feel that uh, we need to have a campaign in which people, Americans, will be able to look at these absolutely beautiful faces of these beautiful, beautiful people and be able to make the connection between the peoples of another country who are really being threatened by this most dangerous administration. Um, and themselves. The United States government was extremely upset when their, one of their favorite dictators, the Shah of Iran, was overthrown in 1979. So they did everything they could and they encouraged and armed their f another favorite dictator, Saddam Hussein, to attack Iran in 1980 with everything they could help him with, with including the, as they call it, weapons of mass destruction, chemical weapons, and all of that. And Iran suffered a war for eight years. However, the people of Iran did not uh, were not defeated and they stood strong and they fought the uh, Iraqi army that was supported by the American army. So administration after administration has been extremely angry that the situation is in Iran is not to their liking and the situation in Iran, in, in Iran especially economically, Iran has, is becoming a major economical power in that area of the world and has the respect of countries of the world and that pisses these people off on a daily basis. And now that they have destroyed Afghanistan, they have destroyed Iraq, they have killed over a million people there. They have killed over uh, close to 4,000, if not more, American soldiers. And they have 
30, 40,000 wounded soldiers without legs and arms and uh, bodies. Now they are pushing an attack on Iran. Now this country is the only country in the world that has used nuclear power, nuclear bombs on other people. How dare these people even think of uh, accusing another country? Iran, for the past 30 years, has become a very strong and committed nation. An attack to uh, at Iran is not as easily uh, accomplished as an attack in Afghanistan and Iraq. Iran is a very strong but committed nation, 70 million people. Yes, they can bomb Iran from above. However, Iranians will retaliate with everything they have, with the support of the world people. So, if just in case they think they can accomplish something easily, as they were wrong in Iraq, they will be a hundred times more wrong in Iraq. Yeah.